Hey, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to another Genshin Impact video, and yes, I know the video is late. I apologize for that. Your boy was working yesterday, and I was just too physically exhausted to bother to make a video, so I just decided to save it for now. Today, I'm actually recording it in the morning, so if I sound groggy, then now you guys know why. Yeah, but anyways, as you can see, we're going to be reacting to the new character demo for Kave and Advice of Sincerity, so we're going to all check that out, as well as his talents, and, you know, see how it goes. I'll give you guys my thoughts, you know, the usual, and before we get started with the video, make sure you guys hit that like button, as well as subscribe to the channel for those who are new. The channel feel free to check out my other content as well turn on that notification bell to be notified immediately whenever i upload all right without further ado let's do this oh nice to meet you oh I'm kave an architect oh. that was a little cool cameos you must have seen the palace of alcazarzare before i sacrificed so much for that everyone else thought i'd lost my mind oh he made that uh, don't spend all your savings on your hobbies, do you? Ooh, ooh, I like how funky this don't end up borrowing money in a moment of impulsivity. <laughs> Living with debt is miserable. <laughs> ooh, nice. His aesthetic's really cool, man. I love- I think it's one of my favorite attack animations in the game, dude. Wait, 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 what? Um... <laughs> I did not accept that angle at all, but okay. <laughs> Come at me. There's still room for improvement. Hmm. Better make my finishing touches before the deadline creeps up. Is oh. That the client? Wait. Oh, it's you. I forget. Four star demos are so fast. They're literally, yeah, they're literally only a minute. Well, that was a character demo for Kave. Honestly, I, I was so fast. Like, I'm still trying to process because I'm still kind of tired right now. I'm trying to still wake up, but damn, that was interesting. So, I mean, okay. Honestly, I think that one thing that intrigued me was that one certain part. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> anyway, I, I know the whole idea was to show the vision, so I, I guess just coincidence. But come on, man. Anyway, so the Hoyaverse knows what they're doing. You know how classic Hoyaverse stuff. But anyways, the demo was pretty good. It was really fast. But I feel like the music was going to build up, but it just kind of didn't. So, oh, well. I guess it is what it is. No time for that. Now, let's move on to the JP demo. All right, here it goes. I like how you get to see all the cameos, that's nice. Oh! Have I ever heard of Japanese? Why is it so familiar? Oh, that Claymore? I just realized that actually could be a good Claymore on him. I didn't really think about that. I like that charge tag, it's so funny. Like, he's not even holding it at all. That. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, man. What is that? <laughs> I'm sorry, that, that cracks me up every time. Anyways, this whole mechanic where he can just, like, blow up the seeds on his own will is really neat, though. Ooh, imagine sacrificial. You know. Sacrificial Claymore. That's gonna be interesting. Nice. Alright, well, let's go and now check out his talents. Alright, here it is. We're gonna be checking out his stuff. And of course, I'll be linking all of this down in the description like usual. Okay, let's see. Relax your mind and let go of your troubles. Have a good night. Kave, Imperial Reflection. Here is his full portrait art i guess there you go oh there you go this is what he looks like in a full portrait damn he's actually a very good looking guy uh a renowned architect from samara who perhaps cares a bit too much about too many things he's an athlete uh, aesthetes troubled by reality all right now here's the personal information obviously he's going to be vision is dendro his constellation is going to be power of dci I, I don't know how to pronounce that the weapon is claymore affiliation is independent design studio wow interesting and birthday is on july 9th 
English voice actor is Ben Balmachita. Mal I don't know how to pronounce it either. And Japanese voice actor is Uichida Uyuma. Okay. So, Kavi is a dendro melee character who can detonate dendro cores and heal himself with his skill. Oh yeah, I forgot he heals with his skill. Okay. His elemental skill can deal AoE dendro damage and will cause all dendro cores within this area to burst immediately after his talent in Architect Undertaking is unlocked. When, when attacks from dendro cores hit Kave, he will also recover HP based on his elemental mastery. Okay, yeah, definitely that Claymore we saw from the demo. That four-star Claymore from the new limited gacha weapon series is going to be a pretty good weapon option for him. And Kavi's elemental burst will allow his normal charge and plunge attacks to temporarily be converted to dendro damage and increase their a attack and AoE. During this time, all dendro cores created by your own party members, though through bloom reactions will deal additional damage when they burst. Here's the Ascension Materials Preview. Yeah, so that sounds like pretty accurate though to everything that I was notified with. Here's the Ascension Materials Preview. So this is a new material from the Desert Zone. I actually have not encountered this yet, but it's um, one of those like local specialties. And he uses a f another fungal one, really? Okay. I mean, those that's like the, the slime for Samaria, so. Okay, well, fair enough. And then he does use Dendro Hypostasis. Okay, so yeah, this is a separate boss from Baizu. Okay. And then for the talent level of materials preview, I think this is literally the same exact talent book series as Nahida and Alhatham. So yeah, it's Inequity. That's what he used. And of course, the weekly boss material is from the newest, latest one. All right, so let's check out his talents real quick. So that is, I believe, his charge attack. That's just so funny to me. So that's his normal attack. I don't know how he's doing that, man. That's so sick, actually. The fact that he's just not even holding it at all. He's just making it levitate. It's just so sick to me. That's got to be, like, one of the coolest attack animations in the game. Just by far. And also, you get to, you know, play around with it. Because, you know, you get infusion with Ender damage when he uses elemental burst. But anyways, normal attack, four consecutive attacks. Yes, yada, yada, yada. Okay. Now, for this part, this is where it's really interesting. So, skill, not only does he trigger, as you can see, all Dendro Cores at instant explosion at his own will, he also heals himself. So, as you can see, he uses the, his mapping ability for offensive purposes, initiating a radio scan that deals AoE Dendro damage. He also scan all Dendro Cores in its AoE and cause them to immediately burst. Pretty nice. And now, for his elemental burst, also quite simple, completely unleashes Maroc's energy and creates a cubic scan space, dealing AoE dendro damage to all opponents within it, causing all dendro cores in its AoE to immediately burst, and granting Kavi the following enhanced combat abilities for specific duration. Basically, as soon as you use it, his casting ability will automatically trigger any dendro cores nearby with his boxing range, as you saw. That's really, that's really cool. Increases Kave normal charge and plunging attacks AoE and converts the attack to dendro damage that cannot be overridden. All dendro cores cr created by all party members through bloom reactions will deal additional damage when they burst. Increase Kave's resistance to interruption. These effects will be cancelled once Kave leaves the field. Oh, okay, so yeah, basically once he has fully infused form in his elemental burst, make sure you don't leave and just try to like maximize his infused form as much as possible unless you know what you're doing in terms of rotation wise. And yeah, very similar to Zhao. Ito, Ayato, stuff like that. And that's about it. It's very simple. Let's see for the passive. An architect undertaking. Let's see. Ooh. When damage dealt by a Dutch Accord, including damage from Burge and Hyper Bloom, hits Kave. Kave will regain HP equal to 300% of his elemental mastery. This effect can be triggered once every 0.5 seconds. Ooh, okay. Interesting. He's going to be a great tank. Well, I don't know if he's going to be a tank tank necessarily, but he can at least tank all the extra Bloom Sea reactions. So that's really nice. And also heal from it. Okay, cool. So that's it. That's very simple. Basically, I guess just to go into short of what he does, skill makes the, all the seeds blow up in instant, and you know also heals from it. So he has a good self recovery skills. And if for his elemental burst, he has denture infusion while also casting it. He can also make other denture cores explode nearby. So he, basically, he's just constant. He's just a very very unique play style. And also, whatever is one of his passive, he gets hit by a denture explosion from one of the bloom seed reactions he heals as well which is really nice and also says he scales an element of mastery so yeah i think this is definitely going to be a build where you're going to probably go with the four piece bloom set as well and i think that's going to be a pretty solid set in there as well so okay so kavi is like really really interesting like he he has like a such a unique play style that i don't think like you know there's gonna be too many teams that could really like fully maximize his potential but then again we don't really know his second passive we also don't know his constellations and you know those could always be a benefiting factor especially since he is a four star so we'll see how it goes and we'll see how strong he really is but 
for now, he to me, he looks like a very fun character to play. And for those who are really interested in trying out this type of mechanic, then Kave is going to be... He looks like he's going to be a really fun character. Also, the fact that he's Claymore just makes him, you know, an exploration character. And the fact that you have a Claymore character that can do this with just their normal attacks, I feel like that's just, the, that's just a real fresh breath of air. Like, it's just so nice, man. It's just so neat. Like, just so clean, dude. So... Yeah, overall, that's just really it. I don't really have too many thoughts on this guy. It's just very, just very unique. It's really interesting. So, and it also just looks fun, which is all that matters in the, at the end of the day, right? As long as the game's fun, then then that's what makes the game good, right? So, yeah, I guess that's everything I'm going to be talking about in this video. So, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys hit that like button as well as subscribe to the channel for more of this type of content. And I guess that's all I got. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, until next time, stay epic and peace out.